Uh, what's going on today, man? I wanted to make you this short little video on your gimbal. Uh, I think you have pretty much the same gimbal I have. This is what they call a good luck gimbal. Uh, it's cheap, 60 bucks. I think I paid for it, 54 bucks, something like that. I paid for it off, off eBay. Uh, I can't complain at all for the 60 bucks that I put into this. I mean, it, it works, it's worked flawlessly for two and a half years. Okay, now here's your problem, man. Is you see this little sensor right here? This little sensor is everything when it comes to this little gimbal right here. This is a sensor, and if that sensor is cocked off either one way or another, it's going to make your gimbal be cocked off. I can see when I first got this gimbal, mine was sitting way over here on the edge, and my gimbal was just doing crazy crap when I first plugged it in. So what I did is I just peeled this off real carefully, and I moved it over here so the strap wouldn't hit it, and so my plug-in wouldn't hit it, and it's nice and level. So now when I plug my gimbal in, it just stays perfectly level all the time. So that's the deal with these little uh, cheap little gimbals from China. Uh, they do work great. I have no problem with mine whatsoever. It's worked flawlessly for, like I said, a couple years now. And uh, that's the fix on it. So you just have to, you have to move that sensor away from this edge over here and put it kind of here in the middle. So where nothing's touching it and it's nice and level, I just use some real gummy uh, two-sided tape to get it to stick down there. Just be careful when you pull it off. Just do it nice and slow and nice and easy and then relocate it to a nice level spot on the bottom of your gimbal here. Uh, I think you had a different camera than mine. Mine plugs in here. I think yours plugs in on the side. So that should give you plenty of room to move it over. And make sure your strap's not messing with your wires. So that's the fix on that. So there you go, bud.